Thanks for tuning into the NBA here on 2K Sports. Wednesday in the NBA. It's going to be the Dallas Mavericks up against LeBron James and the Miami Heat. And now time for Kevin Harlan. We'll get you out to the opening tip-off in Miami. And 2K Sports welcomes you to the NBA with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. We're glad you're aboard. And here we go, the battle between conferences. It's East versus West, where the Miami Heat will be looking to make a statement. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Marion and Dirk make up the forwards. Carter is out there with Jason Kidd, and it's Odom in at the five. And for the Heat, Wade and LeBron are the wingmen. Chris Bosh and Udonis has him down low. And it's Chalmers in at the point. He's not the tallest guy around, but boy, can he score in the boat. Some guys just have that neck, and he's certainly one of them. How Dwayne Wade plays so hard, and he's so athletic. He ends up in midair half the time getting knocked down. So he's always going to miss a handful of games with injury, but just an amazing talent and a great force offensively. What you said about Wade, that injury risk will always be there, the way he's constantly attacking the rim. Well, you don't want to take away that aggressiveness, and you just hope that he doesn't get too many injuries, but also that he maintains his body at a really high level during the season and during the offseason so he can withstand his attacking-type style. Mm. Now, here's Chalmers. Shoots. No good from LeBron. Really good work defensively. This coach has to be happy with his team. Yeah, forcing that miss right there, great effort. They just lost him on the break that time defensively. I mean, he slid out to the three-point line and had plenty of room. Well, Dallas may not be the toughest team defensively, but they're very smart. something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, I was able to speak with Eric Spolster for a moment. I asked him what his focus was coming into the game, and he said rebounding, saying if they can hit the glass with purpose each trip down the floor, they'll be able to be in a position to win this basketball game. Let's see how they board it, guys. Thanks for that, Doris. Rebounding certainly the key topic. Kevin, yeah. you know that, and we've seen so many games, big games, won and lost on the backboard. You have to rebound both boards. And making a change here, the Mavericks. Haywood's checked in. And Steve, you brought up the fouls. Part of it, Clark, is that they aren't overly aggressive on D, but another part is they're maybe too careful, too. Yeah, you got to have the right mixture of aggressiveness and caution. You want to strike a balance there. Dallas isn't going to shut any team down with their D, but they're, they're not giving games away either with silly fouls, and that's how you've got to approach it from their standpoint. Nowitzki, that's for two. Again, the Mavericks score. And they're on fire. They've made four straight shots to get this thing going. Here's LeBron. He passes to Chalmers. He's picked up by Kidd. Five on the clock. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, I tell you what, the coaching performance of Rick Carlisle in the playoffs last season was, I think, what cemented him in the minds of many as an outstanding coach. We've always known it. He was terrific with Detroit. He was outstanding with the Pacers, and he's got a championship ring with the Dallas Mavericks. Here's Bosch. Rips down the breakaway. really triggered the fast break. Nice play. Yeah, hey, you're right. And the break itself may have been even better. Here's Carter. And a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Six points for Vince Carter. Well, going back to Carlisle, I mean, he did such a great job. You're right, Clark, in the playoffs last year. Mixing up the rotation and going deep into the well to get the right matchups through every step of the playoffs. And I thought he did as good a job as possible from the Mavericks in that playoff run. That's one of the reasons they won the title. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. A different look for Miami. Ilgauskas comes in for Udonis Hassan. 
And Juwan Howards subbed in for Chris Bosh. Dallas also making some changes. Lamar Odom is checked in for Haywood. Peja Stiakovich comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. And it's Terry in for Sean Marion. Another open look hits bottom from outside. Yep, and that's three of their last five makes from beyond the arc. You know, Terry turning in another good year for the Mavs last season, Kevin. Contributed about 16 points a game and shot it quite well from deep all off the bench. Now here's Wade over Terry. Again, the Heat good for two. Guys, you're not going to get away with that kind of defense when he's got the ball. I mean, you got to do better than that. Going back to Terry, Steve, he was big for them in the playoffs as well. Yeah, he sure was, Kevin. I mean, in the finals, you know, Dirk took home the MVP trophy, and it was much deserved. But without Terry, there's no way Dallas wins. He, he was stellar, particularly in that closeout game six where he carried his team in the first half. Carter against LeBron. Carter kicks it to Odin. Carter dishes it to Stiakovich and stolen by Howard. Lodowskis up top. Wade against Terry. And again, it's Twain Wade. Wade's got six points. And you can see the strategy has been to take the ball inside here. That's where you get high percentage looks and draw fouls, Steve. And it's a good way to play. Guarded now by Jason Terry. Over Terry. And the Heat get another bucket right there. And Steve, eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. You know, both teams showing a lot of resilience, I think. Coming back and coming back, back and forth, back and forth. Reminds me of a song. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen a game with so many lead changes this early on. And some changes here for the Heat. Chris Bosh is checked in for Jawan Howard. James Jones comes in for LeBron. Eddie House subbed in for Mario Chalmers. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Dallas. Here is House. Back to Bosch. Easy shot. It's a little short, but gets the friendly roll. And they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. Taken away by Kidd. Three-pointer. And again, it's Dirk Nowitzki with the triple. Nowitzki's got 13. And here we go with Dwayne Wayne. Eight points for him. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. With one on the clock. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. The Mavericks on top. And off we go. A close game. Now starting the second quarter. Here's Terry. I think anything less than the title would have to be viewed as a bit of a letdown for the Heat in last year's playoffs. Even when they entered the postseason as the number two seed in the East, their eyes were always set on winning it all. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Chris Bosh and Udonis Hansen down low. House is out there with Mike Miller, and it's Jones in at the three spot. Clark touching back on the Heat. Looking at the opponents they had to face, no easy matchups for them. Yeah, Boston, Chicago, then Dallas. They saw a lot of tough matchups in their road to the finals. And you know, it ultimately might have taken its toll on them because Dallas kind of wore them out in that final series. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kevin, I think we can put to rest once and for all the idea that somehow Dirk Nowitzki is soft or that the Dallas Mavericks are soft. It's a label that had been spread to the whole team, and they are glad to put it behind them. Jason Terry said of Dirk Nowitzki, Dirk has huge resolve. Regardless of what people say about him, he's going to come to the gym every day and prepare the same way. 
He's been doing it for so long, and he still doesn't get the credit that he deserves. A championship will help get that credit rolling, guys. Thanks, Doris. Yeah, make no mistake about it. I mean, Dirk was never a pushover. I think that was an unfair label. Uh, but what winning the title did was it shed that label uh, forever. And, and it kind of put his stamp on the history of, of his impact on the NBA. Just an amazing story, Dirk Nowitzki, last year. Here's Terry. He has six. Pulls up on the wing. Again, the Mavericks score. Good things happen when he's working like that, fellas. The Heat trail by three. Miller kicks to Haslam. Wide open look. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Haslam's got his second bucket. There are two guys thinking alike. Perfect pass and perfect catch. Well done both ways. Next. They can get back in front with some points right here. Yeah, you know, they got behind, but they hung in there and maintained contact. Marion gets the reach-in call. That's his first foul. And the Heat with some changes. Juwan Howard's checked in for Bosch. LeBron comes in for James Jones. And it's Chalmers in for Eddie House. Al is also making some changes. Lamar Odom is checked in for Hayward. Peja Stiakovich comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. And it's Carter in for Jason Terry. Shot clock at six. That's blocked. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here's Miller. Four on the shot clock. A three ball. Gets it to go. Miller's got six. And there he goes. He didn't get a three in the first. But starting to look for it here. Shoots from 12. And Carter with the basket on the assist by West. And that makes it a tie ball game. And here is Chalmers. Jacks up a three. And again, Miami with the triple. Got the lead just going back and forth here. We're seeing some really good basketball. You know what, guys? I've lost track of how many times the lead has changed. I mean, it's obvious, though, it's been a good one, and neither side can pull away. Well, the West has long been considered the stronger of the two conferences in the NBA. But Miami, with its revamped roster, really had uh, no problem beating Western Conference foes last year. Impressive fadeaway right there. Carter's got five points now this quarter. Now they get those three points back in a hurry, don't they? Yeah, they sure did. Didn't take them long at all to respond. And Miami calls their first time up of the game. You're right, Steve, going back to Miami and West. 20 and 10. And the freshman contact. That was kind of a weird year. Yeah, I can't believe you see further in number against the West versus the East. The Heat had a much easier time putting up points against the Western Conference. Here's what Miami's going with Mike Martin. Lebel gets the second for Nazareth. Marsh comes in for Jawan Hall. And the third way subs up for Mike Hall. Here's what's wrong.
I thought he was overall uh, pretty solid for the Heat uh, last season in the playoffs. They run Jay on the way, and the basket goes on. Chalmers has got 16. Mavericks leading by 10. And the speed right side. And it's Dallas with another. Well, I like that he's come up with some big, big baskets for this team to help him out in getting this lead. And once again, the Mavs were a terrific road team last year, winning 28 games and losing 13 away from Dallas. Now here's Wayne. He's got 14 over Marion. And they have got another ball to make it. Yeah, he's really shot the ball well. It's definitely not his fault they find themselves trailing in this. We've seen that struggle on the half court offense. Yeah, they seem to be disorganized to me, guys. I mean, I've seen no rhythm nor flow. Yeah, if you're not in your head, you agree? Yeah, yeah totally. Well, you don't get out on the break, Kevin. And all of a sudden, the game slows down. And if you don't get ball movement and player movement and find that half court rhythm and pace, well, you're in some trouble. For the three and the basketball channel. Chalmers has got 19 points. Will Clark Williams don't think him that way, but the man has hit the end of the two in the road for a time. You know, you do overlook that thing when you take a look at the numbers. I mean, I'm not sure why it is, but they consistently are at the top of the NBA and the road. You know, you can go without the first round playoffs in the last year on the road. That's always impressive. And Dennis calls their first time out of the game. How about the hit that LeBron Image took? Last summer when he decided to sign with Miami, he was known as such a good guy. All of a sudden, he became a bit of a villain around the league once he decided to leave Cleveland and sign with the Heat. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Ogauskas has checked in for Bosch, and it's James Jones is in for LeBron. Quite management. This is where Steve Day can get a two for one. Yeah, I think it makes sense. As long as the first one's a good one, and now you play D, get the ball back, one more shot. They're working it around. Here's the three. And again, Miami with the triple. And we have seen the intensity pick up big time here in the second half. Well, you can feel the desire for both teams. They really want to win. Nice shot by Terry. This guy's been an artist with that three-point shot. He sure has been, Steve. I mean, the majority of his points have come from out there. Here's Wade, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that. Oh, that should be a rule. No layup. Protect the paint and make them earn every point. Yeah, I think that's just tough, hard-nosed, smash-mouth basketball. Make your opponent earn their points from the line. Don't give up any layup. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. Well, we know he can score, so it's not really a huge shock to see him put up these kind of big numbers. And I would think that he most likely will continue to carry on this kind of play into the fourth. We'll be back momentarily. Sideline reporter Doris Burke has a report for our Sprite Spark of the Game. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the Spark of the Game with that push we saw. Their advantage was built through their defense, namely that great second quarter when nothing got by them. They parlayed that great run into the lead they now have. Can they keep it? We'll see. Thanks, Doris. Clark, it was a scoring run that proved extremely important. Yeah, Kevin, you know what? I think that's exactly when they grabbed this one by the throat, really seized control of it. And you could see their energy just building as the game went on. And uh, by the end of that run, they really took uh, took control of everything. Chris Bosch and Ildowskis in the middle. Wade and LeBron with the wingman. And it's House in at the point guard position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. A fadeaway. Bullseye! And that's now 27 points for Vince Carter. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Hey, get LeBron, get LeBron. 
Funny shot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, the big story, of course, a year ago for Miami was the formation of the big three, LeBron, Wade, and Bosch. And although it took some time for those three to click, eventually they figured it out. Steve, back to what you said about Miami. They struggled out of the gate. They were 9-8, and eight, but after a rough November, they kicked it on in December. And Clark, I think, really the game that kind of spun them around was their first LeBron appearance in Cleveland in a win early December against the Kings. Yeah, that was an impressive win. I recall that. That was almost like an NBA Finals type atmosphere in terms of the media attention and so forth. Um, but in that month, they went 15 and 1. They really seemed to find their rhythm and, quite honestly, never looked back. Shot clock at five. Shots good by Bosch. He is just so good from that range, guys. You know, never mind with the height advantage he had there. It's tipped. Pass to LeBron. Takes it up. And they call goaltender. They'll get him the bucket. Very few players have his explosiveness. I mean, man, can he ever try to get to that rim? And a new group in for the Heat. Eric Dampier's checked in for Augustus. Haslam comes in for Chris Bosch. Mike Miller's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Chalmers in for Eddie House. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Dallas. Marion comes in for Deshaun Stevenson. They're in a groove now. These three-pointers just falling at will here in the second half. Yeah, I think the defense has got major headaches because this team's just not missing. LeBron kicks to Chalmers. He's picked up by Kidd. Here's Miller. That's good, and so Chalmers with the assist. And this continues to be a shootout. Well, I'm a fan as well as a commentator, and I love this fast-paced action. I mean, it's going back and forth, back and forth. Man, how about the dexterity for this big guy? I mean, he is really smooth around the basket. Here's LeBron. Sean Marion covering. Again, the Heat good for two. Here's Kidd. West with the ball. And Nowitzki backs in. And it's sent back by Dan Peer. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Chris Bosch has checked in for the Heat. House comes in for Mario Chalmers. Then for the Mavericks. Lamar Odom. He's checked in for Nowitzki. And it's Terry in for Jason Kidd. Here's West. Tries a three off the inbound. And that one's good. lead by seven. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make him put it on the floor. Fades. And there's Jason Jones on the assist by Marion. Marion's got three assists in the game. Goes up from the top of the key. And it's Miami with another. We have seen the intensity pick up big time here in the second half. Well, you can feel the desire from both teams that they really want to win this. And the Mavericks call time here. They lead by four. 156 left in the fourth quarter. A different look for Miami. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Miller. And it's Chalmers in for Eddie House. Now is also making some changes. Nowitzki comes in for Jason Terry. And Jason Kidd has subbed in for Delonte West. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Rick Carlisle said to his team. He told his team to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. 151 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Haslam. That ball is nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got five assists in the game. And Nowitzki backs in. Shoots a fader. And another basket for Dallas. He's 
done an outstanding job all game long. Absolutely a great job of finding an opening against the defense. Fires top of the key. Carter. Oh! oh! That's why you push the ball. You score before the defense has a chance to set up. Big. Exactly. They had the defense on its heels that time. And it's Carter picking him up. Now the dish to Chalmers. Passes to Bosch. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. 12 points for Chris Bosch. And now six of their last 10 points from mid range. Yeah, jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. Got that one up quick. 34 points for Nowitzki. Boy, the fast break has really been good to them here, and they're clicking in transition. Yeah, that's three of their last five scores coming in fast break situations, guys, so they've made the most of their opportunity. Working on Bosch. Fades back. Dirk Nowitzki again. Nowitzki's got 36. What a quarter for him, and with this lead, I mean, they might as well just ride him the rest of the night. On the wing, buries it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. And no need to rush it. Just play smart, get a good shot, make sure it's a well-executed offensive possession. He's covered by Bosch. Wade against Carter. Get up top. Back to Carter. It's stolen by Wade. Good defense there. He was just waiting for that one. It's the first that narrows the gap to four. And making a change here, the Mavericks. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Man, did they ever need those free throws. Now it's a one-possession game. And stolen by LeBron. And you're asking a lot out of your teammate to try to handle that pass. I don't like that decision at all. Ooh, off wide. Sinks the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Perfect from the line, and it's a five-point ball game. And that'll do it, Kevin. Those last free throws were the icing on the cake. And the Heat call time here. They're down by five. Six seconds left to play in the final quarter. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Wade, but they'll get another chance. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Dirk Nowitzki.